So, qu serious question. Um, I think it's pretty rare we get to see two super GMs do commentary on the same game, no? Because don't you all also have like the competitive standpoint where you have like different ideas you try to hide from each other? So, I'll start off with a hot question. Because sure. it's true, <laughs> like chess is a very secretive activity, right? You don't want to disclose all your ideas. So, how does that work? How do you have to balance that, Hikaru, for example? Um, well, I mean, I think, uh, with these tournaments nowadays, since, mm -hmm. since they're online tournaments and no over the board tournaments at this point, I don't think there's Years. anything to hide when, when you're mm. playing for sure. Um, so I, I think that's the first thing I would say, but beyond that, I don't really believe in that ideas. They come and go, but I'll, I'll give you a good example. There was uh, this idea in the, uh, I'll show it on the board in the, um, in the Queens Indian, there was this idea and there's this idea with this Queen C2 idea, uh, with, um, like, like Bishop. Is it bishop a6, g3, c5, d5, okay? So there's this idea in, in the Queen's Indian that, um, that Vessel and Toplov played with a lot of, lot of success. Um, now, the, 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 this is an idea that basically Toplov brought to the forefront. But I, I remember talking to Kramnik, I think we were in a taxi cab in London, going to a closing ceremony for one of the London Chess Classics about 10 years ago now. And um, Kramnik was saying that he had looked at this idea probably like three or four years before, before Vesselin played it. And, um, and so he, he had looked at this idea, but he was saving the idea for a critical moment or a critical match. And then Veselin played it, and Kramnik never had the opportunity to, uh, to play the idea. And so nowadays, I feel like in general, you don't give away your ideas for free. But if you're in a situation um, uh, where, where like something is played, there's no reason to hide it because it's not going to be good. Like if I had some magic idea in this position, I wouldn't suddenly hide it because everyone's just going to go use their computer and explain it, you know, or look at it and know right away what's playable. I see. Yeah, see, the extent of my preparation against Eric Rosen was uh, D4, C4, and then if that goes wrong, B3. So you guys, uh, yeah. you guys have, you you, you have uh, to quote Shrek. To quote Shrek, you guys have layers. You know? Yeah, o onions have layers, cakes have layers. Uh, preparation has layers. All right, Magnus goes Knight H5, guys. Talk talk to me. What what is going on here? Hey. One second. Wait a second. So, so then I'll just say, again, in the Italian, normally when you go for these knight h5, knight f4 it's ideas, they look though. very dangerous, but they're very, it's very oftentimes the knight will eventually get kicked back. So the knight, even though black gets a knight f4 in the Italian, it generally, it's not as dangerous as it appears on first glance. Yeah, I think, um, I think Wesley is happy with the, with what he got out of the opening, I think. Um, Ali Reza, I, I don't mean to cut you off. Is there a way to make your microphone a little quiet? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's... Oh, I mean, you mean it's loud? Yeah, it's very loud oh, okay. <laughs> compared to Hikaru. Oh, yeah, can you? I don't know if there's a dial on it, like to yeah. turn it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think it has to be better now, right? Yes. Okay. I think that's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. As you were saying, as far as the position. Yeah, I like the I like Wesley's position, but I guess Magnus is playing for the win, right? So I think both players are happy with what they got out out of the opening. Uh, can is that can that actually happen? Both players be happy? Is um, that really? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, what it, what is this what is it for for Wesley then? What is he developing next and to what square? I mean, normally White wants Knight G three, but now you're not gonna play Knight G three. So then what? Well, I yeah, mean, I yeah. go ahead, Alareza. Yeah, normally I think White has to put the Bishop on E three, right? Bishop on E three, Bishop on C two, and wait for Black to uh, show his hand, as they say. I think so. Yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, I think the thing is Black wants to go knight f4 and queen f6, and probably Wesley goes bishop... Well, I mean, he just plays bishop e3 to challenge uh, the bishop on a7 here. Like, White yeah. can maybe take on e5 at the right moment, uh, because basically it hinges around, can Black play d5 or f5, or is Black going knight f4, queen f6? Those are the only ideas that make sense. Um, although, actually, now this reminds me of, uh, of the Spanish, where maybe Black can take on d4 and play some knight f4 like this, or, or f5 even at some moment. Maybe, maybe. Is he going to go all in here? Because if he loses this game, it's over, right? So then what is he going to do? 
There's not really all in though, is there? Because like knight of four, queen f six is not really all in. It's just it's, yeah. it's a logical idea. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Exactly. I mean, to me, the the obvious idea would be to play like queen f queen f six. It feels like the all in try. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think black should m look for more for f five, right? Um, if you can get it. Yeah, yeah. Or queen c seven, rook d eight, d five. Because queen, I don't believe in queen f six somehow. Yeah, I, I, I actually I agree. I think queen f six is uh, it looks nice, but after like knight g three, h six, if if white just plays like knight f five, it's I think I think yeah. white, I think white's better. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, not yeah. it's not the right way to play this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get. Let's see. By the way, uh, who's gonna take in the center? Um. I think black has to open, right? With d5 or... I mean, white white has a very good center. Why he has to move... I mean, why he has to change everything, like... Yeah, I, I think white's never trading in the center because the yeah. only reason you would trade in the center is, for example, let's just say here, uh, move 15, let's say black plays c5 or something. If you can get some position with c5 and taking on e5, then the bishop on e3 is much better than the bishop on a7. But mm -hmm. that's the only situation where I see you trading, because uh, otherwise it makes it makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I f but but what is Black's move here? If it's not Queen F six, it's like I guess Queen F six, Queen C seven. Um... Yeah, Queen C seven looks very logical. I think. Okay, play Queen C eight. He's gonna sack another bishop. That's what I think. Just like <laughs> yeah. two games ago, Bishop H four, Bishop H three is coming. Well, well, to I, be fair, uh, if you take take queen h3, isn't it just like... Yeah, yeah, it's just a mate, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have like bishop f4, knight f4, knight e3. No, I don't want to exchange that bishop. Um, no, no, I mean, if, if you can avoid it, you don't want to exchange. But actually, how do you not exchange here? This is a problem. Yeah, yeah so so again, like, uh, as, as I say to... As I'm saying in the chat, most of what you look for is you're looking for candidate candidate ideas or candidate moves. Um, and other like Bishop H three just wins for Black. So what can White do? Knight G three, Bishop H three just loses. It looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so then, what else do you have besides Bishop F four? Knight G five maybe. But, but it's just, just the seven. yeah yeah just Bishop D seven. Huh. Knight G five, Bishop D seven. You said. Mm. Yeah, it's not easy. Okay, how about this? So how about this? I have an idea. I have an idea. Knight g5, bishop d7, mm -hmm. g3, knight h3, takes, takes, f4. Is that stupid? That's insane. How stupid is that? That's insane. <laughs> uh, that's insane, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, probably I just take on f4 and go f5, I think. And then bishop yeah, yeah. g4, and knight then h4. I lose, yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's fair. No, but you know what's interesting? I was thinking I was thinking about structurally the reason that Queen C eight makes sense here. And I think actually Bishop C two is a very natural looking move, but I don't think it's the right move. I think you should actually just go knight g three there. And you give up the bishops oh. because you can just take and go queen d three with rook d one. Or yeah. knight f five. Actually I, th I think this might have been a big mistake by Wesley to play bishop c two. Yeah. Because none of these ideas exist. If you go knight g three, you can put the bishop on f one. So I mean, it's very natural, obviously, but I think it might be it might might be a slight mistake. I mean, he can go bishop d two, but it's just to have knight e three. But I mean, it's just so. Uh, feels yeah. Feels very dangerous. No, I think actually maybe you just have to take f four and go knight e three and just try yeah. to go knight f five. Takes a knight e three. But I, I don't like it. It doesn't. It doesn't feel right with the way that you normally play the Italians. This idea should not yeah. exist, where you have to take take give up a bishop for the knight on f4. Wait, I can't tell if I'm being trolled. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, is chat serious? Hold on a second. Uh, do you want to know what the top engine move here is? It's probably something silly. H4. It's H4. Yeah. H4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But like no no no, but I mean really? I, 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 you also have to worry. About, I mean even though I'm sure it loses, you have to be worried about something like Bishop H three even here. Yeah. Uh, Bishop H three. Oh, but then maybe the idea is to take on a four and then take right. on H three. 
And then queen h3. But h4. Yeah. Yeah, knight e3. But then, yeah, well, of course, even that is dangerous. I'm sorry, yeah. No, I mean, I think Wesley will take on f4. I mean, I feel like he's too... I mean, he's, he's, he's too solid to play. I, I just feel like yeah. h4 is just not a Wesley move here. But bishop f4 doesn't look very attractive either because then the bishop on a7 at some point is... I yeah. mean, this is very nice diagonal. So it's actually a tricky spot here for for uh, for, for Wesley. Mm -hmm. Very tricky spot. Because what I don't understand is that after knight g5, mm -hmm. Machine is trying to suggest queen d8, not bishop d7, and I can't figure uh. out why. I don't understand. Oh, it just thinks that bishop f4, knight f4, knight e3, and then you're just... Okay, so it's basically the same thing. It's it's basically just saying you have to take on f4 or, or else... Yeah, or else, but I mean, if knight really. g5 is played, Magnus will go bishop d7. Yeah, I mean, yeah, without, a, sure. without a doubt. Absolutely, 100%. Okay, so we're looking at this. And if not bishop f4, then Wesley is just much worse. I mean, is there knight e2 maybe? Knight three d two to go queen f three, but again, I mean, it, it still feels very uh, shaky. Yeah, but then also knight h four is always. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I mean knight h four, you can take on f four and go knight f four yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, knight knight three d two, it looks so dangerous. Knight g two, king g two, bishop h three, king. Yeah, that should. I mean, king h one, knight h two, even. Yeah, yeah, knight 3d2 is actually interesting. Yeah, it's very unusual. I mean, because also then bishop b3, and you can reroute the knight to c4 later. Yeah. Wow. Knight 3d2. But the, but the most important thing about this is that is that Wesley is going to have to think for a long time here. Like, he doesn't have obvious moves, so he's, he's going to actually end up low on the clock for the first time yeah. in the match mm -hmm. today. Like this... Knight. Yeah, very, very yeah. tricky. This could go for a while. Hikaru, when's the first round of Pog Champs? Is it at 4 p.m. Eastern? No, it's at noon, but I'm staying here with you guys, obviously. Aren't you the commentator today? This is more important. I'll I join see. later. <laughs> okay. I, I, I mean, come on. When you start something, you got to finish it. I can't do this and then just jet from jet from this to go 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 to that. Got to got to finish what you start. Wow. For posterity. Okay. okay. Oh, it's at three Eastern. Oh, it's at noon. Got it. Got it. Yeah, two, two hours. hours. Whoa, oh, he goes he bishop b three. What? Can't he just? Can't he just take? So okay. So what? What's how's it go? Bishop h three, g h three, queen h three. You take on a four. Knight of yeah. four. Ninety three. And this looks very scary because you can, but I guess your next move is what knight g five, or knight mm -hmm. h maybe knight h two actually. It takes takes. I don't know why the computer says a four is good after bishop h three. I don't know why. We should, I mean Bishop h3 takes a4. Yeah, I think or... it's probably it's, it's because if, if the knight gets it like if the knight gets out, then your next move is bishop c4, bishop f1. So I think a4 deflects uh -huh. it somehow, and at bishop c4 you have b5 maybe. Very strange. Mm -hmm. it, it it definitely. I mean, it feels like once you've played bishop c2 to go back to b3 is it already looks suspicious, right? So it's. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay. But 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 the other thing with this move though is what else can Magnus do again besides sacking? I don't see any other moves that make sense. I, I just don't see other moves that are logical here. So he's almost forced to sack here. I, I think. Yeah. Right. Yes. So in a position like this, where Wesley just spent three, four minutes out of ten, or like yeah, ten or eleven minutes, it's it, he found a concrete solution. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, right? So bishop h3, g h3, queen h3, bishop f4, knight f4. You guys said knight e3, and then what? You just sit there and basically say, "I'm a piece up, and I'll figure it out." Bishop c4, bishop f1. Well, you have bishop c4, bishop f1. You also have knight g5 with queen g4, maybe. Ah, but there's queen g5, knight mm -hmm. h3. But yeah, I think that's kind of the argument is that if that position, if you can get bishop c4, bishop f1, you're just up a piece and your king will be safe. Um, and black doesn't really have time to take advantage of the open king. 
Okay, so Magnus takes on d4. Interesting. Yeah. Is that so? His dark squared bishop in the corner has an actual target. Oh no, he might just wants to play cd d5, right? And this very typical mm -hmm. way to play. Right, and then if e e5 just f6 and yeah, and yeah, there's too much, too much coming down towards the king side. Maybe Visley has to take on e6 actually here. Oh, but then maybe even d. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Is can Black do that? Oh my God, sack the queen! Wow. Yeah, I actually, I wonder about that. I'm not sure, but yeah, Wesley takes. Okay, I expected this. Yeah. So now, Bishop B three. I mean, because now Bishop H three never works. Basically, I don't think. Because Queen F three. Well, I think it's more complicated than that, but I think bishop f4, knight f4, gh. Yeah, yeah, actually, if queen h3 right away, then queen f3, yes. Yeah, yeah. So then what is his idea here? Because now white's threatening to go knight f5 if you trade the bishops on d3. So if he takes this, so if he takes bishop b3 now, white has to take like this queen or pawn I, maybe? I assume even. pawn, just to open up the a file. Yeah. So then bishop d4. Yeah, okay, you might take... But then queen takes queen d2. I mean, white is fine there. For sure. No, this is very strange by Magnus here. Very strange. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if you don't take now... How do you switch gears from the... I mean, it just seemed like he was poised to take on h3. So if you're not going to do that, what is the game plan? Because now his time is also equal. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that makes a big difference. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the move is here for uh, for, for for Magnus. Actually, I, j I literally don't know. I mean, it's, it's very hard to come up with an idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I mean, let's put it this way: if you're calculating the sacrifice on H three, that could be your entire tournament right there. Because if yeah, that doesn't yeah. work, you're you, you're down. Yeah, again. sure. So yeah, it was not the easiest spot for Magnus, of course. I mean, he wanted to just keep the time advantage, but now again, he's thinking so yeah i think that was the, that was the problem i mean he, he wants to keep the time advantage but he doesn't have it now and actually i think white's moves are easier somehow because black has to have the idea and white just reacts to whatever black's idea is here well maybe now he wants queen d4 bishop h3 somehow i was just imagining you take with the pawn but yeah queen d4 <laughs> attacks uh -huh. d6 right I mean, this pawn, it's always very dangerous of this d5, e5, f6. This structure is always very dangerous for white. Because mm -hmm. you, you close out the light squared bishop on b3, right? And then yeah, yeah, and, all yeah. The, and open the f file and bishop h3 is so dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, totally. I, I, I agree with that. I, I mean, yeah, if I'm if I'm west, but bishop d4 also looks weird because then the knight on f4, this knight on f4 is not under attack. And then I think bishop yeah. b4, bishop h3 just wins. Because queen h3, knight e3, knight h4, and you just you just lose. Yeah. Okay, so bishop d so then the candidate moves. Bishop d4 is no good. Okay, bishop f4 just loses to bishop f2 for starters. Yeah. So queen d4 and c d4. Queen d4 looks bad, though, doesn't it? Still feels like knight g2, knight h4. I think you might have to take, actually, with the pawn. Yeah. Oh, wow. Queen d4, knight takes g2. Jesus. If king g2, we shall be free. Yeah, it's so dangerous. King h1, queen g4, so, knight h4. Yeah. It's a good, good lesson. You have to see what you can take that's only guarded by the king, too. And in this case, this is just lost. Because check, queen and comes if, in. And if bishop e6 here? Bishop e6 uh, here? Aha, aha. Yeah, this makes some yeah. sense. But then I take with the queen, I think. Wow, uh oh queen, wow. Wait, knight g2? Uh -oh. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, because also knight g2, bishop b6, you have knight e1, knight f3. Wait, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. yeah. oh, yeah. Knight knight, wait, I, okay, so wait, so knight g2, what are your moves? So bishop e6, we've established, loses to knight e1. 
So you have to take g2, bishop h3. This is forced. King f3 gets mated in one. King g3 gets yeah. mated in one. King h2 or king h1? King h1, queen g4 is mate in two. So king h2 is the only move. And then the knight h4, queen g4 first. This looks so dangerous. No, actually knight h4 first. And bishop d1, bishop g2. And queen h3. Yeah. Yes. Also, knight h4, queen d1, bishop g2. <laughs> wow. What yeah, I think this is just knight g2 wins here. It just wins. Crazy. Wow, this is this is insane. Well, he's uh, he's back into it. Now we got one more game, and he's well. But now, Magnus well, I mean, has but, but he he has to sack first. I mean, again, don't forget that a loss here is the end of the road for Magnus. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a guarantee that he'll that he isn't nervous about sacrificing in this case. Yeah. But, so knight h four, bishop d one, bishop g two, king g one, queen h three, knight h two, maybe. Yeah, knight h two, and then <laughs> bishop h one. Oh yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, bishop takes and queen h3 mate. Not mate, yeah. queen h2, queen h2 mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised that he hasn't just done it, though. He's using too much time. Yeah. Okay, he must play knight g2, right? I mean... Well, because I mean, but you can play bishop h3 too. Like it's not, but but I think the thing is, again, the the intuition matters here because if you play bishop h3 right away, like somehow it feels like after bishop f4, knight f4, g h3, queen h3, knight e3, probably there's a way black's better, but white white again is just going to go bishop d1, bishop g4. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I, intuitively, I think you just you just sack on g2, and I mean, because bishop h3 doesn't it, to me at least it doesn't feel quite right because you end up with one less uh, piece on the board. Yeah. Is calculating knight takes g2 so difficult? Like, what are you, what is I mean, stopping him? The, the most important thing is to see knight takes e1, right? It's not I think the so, easiest yeah. to see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, but also maybe he doesn't see, I mean, it's not so obvious to see knight h4 with bishop g2 and queen h3. But again, I do yeah. think Magnus should, he should see it. I mean, because yeah, there yeah. isn't much to calculate. Because, uh, like I said, after knight g2, king g2, bishop h3, king h2 is the, I mean, king h2 is the only move. So then you yeah. can just calculate, you should be able to get to that point in the first, like, 10 seconds of your, cal 20, 10, 20 seconds of your calculation and only look then at knight h4 and bishop g2. Yeah. But he's using way too much time here. Wow, he doesn't do it. Yeah, he doesn't do it. Crazy. That's crazy. Wait, did he just not see that? Like, what? Did, what did? What was missed there? It was. I said he missed ninety one. Ninety one. Mm. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, because I mean, again, if you if you feel kind of if if you don't see ninety one, and then you you kind of intuitively feel that bishop h three is bad, then you don't really yeah. have any other moves to play. But I mean, white should be better now. I think like you can even just play very safe with takes and yeah. pawn takes ninety five, ninety three, and you have the you have the center kind of. I mean, and Wesley play draw, this for a win. Yeah. I mean, I would take with on f four first and then d five and ninety three, right? I I mean, to me, it seems like the safest thing to do in this situation, um, because you're you're never gonna lose this end game, and then Magnus has to win the last game. Yeah. So to me, it seems like the the obvious thing to do. He plays queen d two. I mean. This feels scary yeah. though. You're you're really trying to. It's like he's he's begging Magnus to sacrifice here. So it's I, knight h three. I think that's literally what he's doing. Like he he understands knight h three is is possible. I think he just wants Magnus to take this risk. Mm -hmm. And okay, knight h three, g h three, and there it is. Yep. <laughs> finally, yeah, finally takes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! But he has no. So so wait so g takes h three do you take or do you play knight h four first I guess I mean, no the thing you know the thing that concerns me here though is that Magnus has used too much time to get to this point like he should have at least like one or two more minutes here than he does and he's also behind on the clock again so that that's why I'm actually I mean yeah I, I'm worried for his position here. 
Okay, so GH3, if Queen H3, how easy of a hold is this? Do you just I give away go, a pawn and... Do you play Knight H2 or F3 first, I guess, is the question. Yeah. F3, Queen G2. And... Mm. Yeah, Knight H4, Knight H2. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, there's still play. There's still a lot of play here. Yeah. Like, you can take F3 and then Queen F3, Queen G2. Should be okay. I mean, but I, I don't think I don't think Wesley's losing here. Yeah. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. I mean, I, I guess it's King H two a move. D takes E four, G H three like F five and ninety five. That looks very scary, probably. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So G H three, Queen H three. There it is. So now you you have to play F three or not. F4. F4. Yeah. Whoa. No, but actually, isn't this bad? Knight h4? Knight h2 and just d takes e4? Yeah, knight h2, d4, queen f2. Yeah, yeah but, why not? but now, now like rook e8, rook e6, or rook d8, rook d6. No, this looks very scary now for, for white. Yeah, queen f2, rook e8, king h1, knight f5. <sighs> Yeah, knight f5 is a very no, but knight f3 wins on the spot because because uh, I'm gonna take h2 and take e3. Yeah, you guys are accurate. I mean, I, how do you stop the rook coming in? This yeah, rook e8, so rook e8, rook e6 is like I think forced. So wait, so rook e8, do you go bishop d4 maybe? Because rook e6, you can meet it with rook e3. No, rook e6, king h1, knight f3. <sighs> yeah, this is this is crazy. Yeah. Is Wesley playing this for a for, for a win? Is that why he played f4? Is he just making this a mess? No, but I mean, but, just... but but I think I think f4. I think he just. I guess he assumed that f3 knight h4 knight h2 was there was something wrong with this. Okay, queen f1. Now, of course, we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna check. Apparently, that wasn't even the best move. Apparently, something else was even better. Queen g1. Yeah, queen even g1 queen g2. Queen G1 or Queen G2, I don't know. Yeah. Wait, why did he go Knight F5? Did he have to go Knight F5? I also don't. Why didn't he go Queen F5 instead of Queen G3? I thought Queen F5 with Rook E6, Rook G6 again looked very thematic. If he trades Queens, isn't the game just? Oh, well, I guess not. It's so it's fast. not it's not so fast because the Knight is outposted on F5. But yeah. No, I mean he blundered. He he, he blundered again. Again, he got too yeah. low on time, and he just he, he blundered. I mean, too low on time because he's trying to keep the time even here. Yeah, yeah. He has to keep the queens, of course. Queen h4 somehow. But then, yeah. But then queen g5? Okay, he goes. Oh my god, he traded yeah. everything. Whoa, this is insane. But okay, now Wesley's... Only Wesley's paying for being here. Are you so wow, sure? This could be Are it? you so sure? Are you so sure? There's g6 or g5? I mean... No, I mean, so I go rook sure. g3 and I... Yeah, rook g3? Okay, rook g3, I go like uh, king f7. Yeah, guys, bring guys. the king on e2, knight e3. He's doing it, I think. Why did he go rook e1 instead of rook e2? Was there an obvious reason? He wants to trade He wants the to bring the king on e2, yeah. Or he oh, wants to trade the rook. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Or okay, or he just wants that. No, no, but <laughs> I mean, this, but this is very dangerous because with only one set of rooks, I think there's going to be some king f6 g5 here. Like I think I think I think Ali Reza is right that he could have played like rook e3, got the king to e2, played knight e3, rook h1, and fixed the whole king side. So black can't ever play g5. Yeah, yeah, this was, yeah. So this is a good example of when you shouldn't trade rooks. It makes it easier for black rather than. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that it's it would be easier to play with black if there are mm -hmm. only one rooks in the board. So. Well, let's put it this way: if if the f pawn for white didn't exist and the h pawn for black didn't exist. Yeah, black is much better, right? But it's better, right? Yeah. So G it's, a, it's a F4 pawn, which holds everything together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What just happened? Okay, he played... Uh, they traded Rooks and Wesley oh, he just pawn on A5. So wait, so G5 is the move? And Knight E3? I mean... I think G5 you have to play, no? I mean... I think this is still going to be H6, a draw H6, G5 somehow. is too slow. Yeah. Now he goes G5. Ah, because knight E3, you can go B5 and close the uh, close the, the, the rank. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Yeah, probably oh Wesley thought God. ninety. Probably wow. Wesley probably thought ninety three, and I just win the game because I'm gonna win the pawn at f five, and then you yeah, can yeah. close it with b five. Okay, well, even if it's a draw, Magnus has to win the next game. Yeah, but see, he I has think, to win. No, but the thing is, is now it's like I think Wesley kind of has to find the moves because Magnus yeah, is yeah, one sure. idea. It's just like f four, h five, h four. Like one idea. That's it. That's all that he has here. So Wesley is the one who has to kind of like use time here and figure it out. Very strange game. He has to take now, I guess. Take, take, rook c5 maybe. Or rook c5, knight g3. Or... Rook c5, and then uh, h5, knight g3. But even rook d5 after that, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I mean, this is very tricky. This is very tricky. Yeah, the, the I mean, I don't... But you see, this is actually like, and this is just for Ali Reza more than you, Levy, since, since Ali Reza is competing against Magnus. This is the one thing that I think for Magnus is different than anyone else. Is that like, sort of intuitively, like you see Ali Reza and I, our assumption is that like, why would you go into this end game, you know, with this like 93 and F5? Because it looks suicidal. But Magnus has an intuitive sense yeah. where he can kind of, he feels that there's something there. He doesn't know what it is, but intuitively he senses there's something, uh, there's something in the position. Like I would never yeah. consider 93. I would just never consider, uh, like, I mean, maybe I would if I had time, but I would not play it like in five seconds ever. Because it just, it looks crazy. You yeah, figure yeah. it down a piece, there's going to be a blockade. Mm -hmm. But intuitively he feels, he can just sense that there's probably something with the four versus one, even if it's not consciously. Yeah. So now, what you have to yeah, go like amazing. No. this b5 move is this, yeah, b5 c4, maybe here it comes. No, but I'm, I'm very worried for Wesley here. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe what you I think do... he has to go c4 if four just sack. No, but I think c4 right? the problem is I, do, I think I go rook d2, rook d3, and take b3. I think I go rook d2, king one, rook d3, and I take b3 and hold the oh, b5 okay. pawn. Oh, yeah, but now then. If okay. four, then c4. If four, rook a7. c4? No, but then e3. Okay, it goes h4. Do you go around the back, rook a7, rook g7? Probably the, the thing you have to play. Magnus wants to put his king on f4, I guess, right? He doesn't want to push the pawn to f4. Yeah, I he think wants he wants to distract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, king f4 and then distract. Use the h pawn to distract and then play like rook d2 or rook d1. Yeah. So I guess rook d1 here. But then check. It might be draw, right? Check rook h7. Yeah, so rook d1, rook g7, king. I guess king f6. Rook h7, yeah, rook, rook h7. one Should be a draw still. But I mean, I think... I think yeah, it, it, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, black puts the king on e5 and then takes the pawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not easier still. Also, the problem is that this, this is a draw, but actually it's all on, um, on Wesley. Wesley has to find the moves. For Magnus, it's very easy here. Ma Magnus has to just basically react, and he has like, very simple ideas. Either f4, or rook d1, rook yeah, d1. Yeah. And that's it. And it's it's always going to be fine for him. So, uh, yeah, it's it's tricky for Wesley here. Maybe he will put the rook on h8 now and push the pawn. But or maybe that's okay. Oh, goes there, yeah. There you go. Yeah. There so he's trying go. to distract with the h pawn. Yeah. Very tricky. Very tricky position here. Yeah, I would not want to be white though, especially with the time situation here. Yeah, I yeah. hate to be white. You like what do you even play? I mean, so rook rook g7 check, he wants very king f6 probably, right? Because king f4 knight is then h3. king f4 rook f7 h3 h uh, h yeah, and then rook h5, right? Yeah, I mean it's still <sighs> Oof, this is hard to play. Yeah, he has to be very careful, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the move is here. Okay, it does work seven. seven. Why do you end just... Uh, H3, knight, G3. Yeah, go ahead. 
I thought King G6 maybe. And then Rook C7 and H3 or H3. Rook C6, what? King G5. <sighs> yeah, this is very hard to play. Yeah. That's H3. He might go Knight G3, H2. And then probably you just take rookie a five and you make King G4, Rook E5, and just yeah, make yeah. the draw. Just make the draw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think King G6 is kind of. Or mm -hmm. F4, actually. Also, F4 is it? A... Okay, he goes H3, Knight G3. Yeah, Knight G3, I think, only move. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, he has King G G King G4? And if I ah, because rook f5, there's e3. Aha, aha, yes. Yeah. Oh, king g4 is unpleasant. Oh, but maybe even king g4, knight e2, actually. And just. Mm -hmm. Wait, he goes h2. Probably, yeah, he wants to draw, maybe, yeah? King so, g4. Yeah, rook e5. He's going to promote to a knight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is this is going to be a draw, I guess. Yeah, the, it, it'll yeah, be a draw now. Draw. Yeah. Yeah, just rookie 5 and it's it's going to be a draw here. Yeah. Oh well. No, I'm actually I think if the situation was different, Magnus would not have played h3. But I think because of loss yes. means he loses the match. He just he he did it just to just to to not not make a blunder and lose the game. Because I I think normally so it, yeah. Go ahead. Wesley wants to try something here, right? Maybe with this rook f6. So h1 takes, takes, and then what? Rook wow. c6? Yeah. Okay, but then even king f4 is draw, probably. Yeah. Uh, maybe h1 takes, takes, you go king e3 first. Ah, uh, but then rook e1, king rook e4, e3. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I mean, it, it should c6. be a draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just like... A lot of drama, but... Well, probably. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. I'm glad I predicted that. That's my uh, sharpest moment of the analysis, and we'll get a fourth game soon. Yeah. So this will be this will be a draw. But yeah, I think it's really important because if that situation was different, Magnus would not have played H H three H two. I think he would have looked for a while and probably done something else. But because of, because if he loses, it's over. He wasn't going to take the risk. That, that's what I think yeah. happened. Although wait, so rook b6 yeah, yeah. here? Ah, uh, rook b6 just king f4. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's it's just a draw. Wow. All right, well, I'll rook f8, and now, now okay, we'll get but, a bunch but of now... Yeah, now I think, what is this? b4 is an easy draw, right? Yeah. Okay, just this one. And if b4? B uh, B four just like rook h okay yeah B four rook h two is just a draw yeah okay rook c eight mm -hmm. check yeah now I bring back the king yeah king gets to c six is just a theoretical draw yeah yeah we'll be right back guys I'm gonna use the bathroom crazy yeah so the, they will draw the game here and wow insane. So actually, Ali Reza, I don't know if the, if Levy asked you this before, but were you were you not invited to the to this event or the or the previous one, or did you uh, decline? I mean, no, I was invited, but uh, like we have to do some contract thing. Like without the contract, they don't ah, invite yes. or something. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. This uh, yeah, just for everyone who's watching, yes, the uh, the the thir thirty seven page contract that I'm I'm yeah, very yeah. familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, actually, that's that's quite quite smart of you because there there were when when I um when I agreed to play in the tour, there were a lot of things in the contract that basically had to be changed, and and in fact, yeah, like, yeah. so so like uh one thing since I think I can say this um is uh one of the things in the contract was that basically you can't say anything bad about chess or the tour at all, yeah, and yeah. um I'm pretty sure that then that when Napomniachi signed the contract, he probably signed the same contract, and then he was then he was busy criticizing uh criticizing the event the format and everything and um so it's it's actually quite smart that uh that yeah you didn't you didn't just blindly sign this contract <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah no that's uh that that is that is uh that is important to note okay yeah also fabiano i think read the contract and he was not happy i guess uh-huh right? okay 
I, I mean, I mm-hmm. haven't spoken to Fabiano, so I actually don't know. Uh, I don't know uh, his situation, but I was kind of curious in, in, in that case yeah. as well. But wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. Uh, so so yeah. So so how is uh how's 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 streaming going? How's how's life in France? Yeah, it's great. Um, after the vacancy, I just feel like I have to start streaming and <laughs> interact with fans somehow. I don't know. And before that, I was not really into streaming. Uh, I was streaming two years ago, but I was getting tired after like one an- one hour streaming. Mm-hmm. But now maybe because I grew a bit, uh, it is easier for me to stay for four hours, five hours. So, and it is really important to, I think, have a long streams. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, right now there's so many people who are interested in chess. I think there, there are a lot of fans of, of what you're doing. I, I know like when I was watching the Norway event or um, or Tata still, there, there were a lot of people who were rooting for you. So I think it's it's fantastic. And your brother also uh, has also done coverage on your channel as well, right? Is he, yeah, is he like yeah. a chess player or what's, what's his background? Yeah, he, he has 2100 feet rating, yes. And uh, we continued, ch- we started chess together, but then he decided to go to a study and uh, so... Did, did did that happen before before you got better than him, or was it he was already just moving moving? Um, but <laughs> it happened after I got stronger. But <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I was curious because my brother also he he played chess, uh, and we were very similar in age as well, like maybe two years apart. And yeah. he was he was also about like twenty one fifty, twenty two hundred. And then once yeah. I passed him, he kind of he, he stopped playing too. So <laughs> yeah. it's uh, something I am familiar with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's that's that's. It's it's great though to see um to see everything that's going on. I mean, you, your yeah, brother, yeah. and and just just all the interest in chess and and, and everything. Yeah, so, it's amazing. Yeah. W- what are your plans for uh your next tournament? Over the Next, board, I mean. Oh uh, yeah, over the board is Norway chess in three months. Mm, okay. But uh, after, before that, there is no tournament. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess we're still in that stage where no one really knows what what the events are. But probably, I mean, you, you'll probably be invited for uh, some some part of the Grand Chess where I would assume, because you're, yeah, you're in Paris, right? This. Yeah, yeah, Paris. Yes, I got invited last year, but it got canceled, of course. So. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's true. Very true. Yeah, and uh, my, my next over the board tournament, uh, no, I am, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm taking a look at the calendar, obviously. Uh, see, <laughs> speaking of uh, someone who I know who is playing in an over the board tournament, can we get some love for my friend, Mr. Ostrovsky, who's trying to become a grandmaster, looking yeah. for his GM norms? Uh, speaking of which, where is Hans? Is he like in jail in Europe somewhere? Where he, we haven't heard about Hans in. I don't know. I, I I have no idea where where Hans is these days. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy. Like all all, all the whole whole chess world. I mean, everything has changed so much from where yeah. I, I think think we thought it would be. Uh, but but probably actually for me, I'm hopeful there will be another like world rapid and blitz in um yeah. in in Moscow or somewhere in Russia at the end of the year. That's my hope. It's very hard to imagine that these days. There's uh there's one place in the united states where i have found chess tournaments and that is the that's in charlotte in north carolina where they have the charlotte chess center and they have a lot of these norm events uh like alex has played in a few but i I got an email from the u.s chess federation even though i unsubscribed from their email list so that tells you everything that you need to know about their technology uh they sent me an invitation to a gm round robin event a norm round robin event and that's in March, but I'll be covering the tour. So Hikaru will be playing, Anna and I will be covering. Ali Reza will be... Actually, Ali Reza, is there a chance you play in the next event, in the major, as a wild card? I don't know. They We just stopped talking for now, but yeah, I think they give their wild card and everything to the people who signed. So I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, so Levy, just because we were talking about this when you went to the restroom... Um... Basically, as, 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 as we were talking about, there's a 37-page contract for the uh, Champions Tour, mm. and it's, there's a lot of stuff in it that is, I would say, not, not, not right, to put it mildly, which I had yeah. to deal with and have changed. And okay. so um, I guess if you haven't signed that contract or some version of it, then, um, then they might not invite you to tournaments. Although, again, I, I don't know for sure if that's true. Are, are you allowed to talk about any of those things or well i mean i already said something about the chess part and how like you know there was one clause in there which said like you're not allowed to talk badly about chess which 
can be extrapolated into like literally i could say oh you know i hate chess you you know i'm so mad at myself (laughs) for like you know i hate chess you know this game like shanklin is the worst thing that's ever happened to me i could say something like that and the contract in its original form you know they could like they they could sue you they they could say you've you've broken the contract (laughs) they really could yeah yeah um so it's it's actually not a joke and I i thought that was actually quite unfair because most of the players in the tour there, you know, to have to like hire a bunch of lawyers to go through a contract is not, you know, it's just it's not in the spirit of what what should be happening. It must must have been really good for Ding Liren. He didn't have to hire anybody, right? Isn't he a lawyer? How does that work? How would you? <laughs> how would you? Uh, how would you even sue a guy like from like in a different country? How does that even? And what... Ding Liren, I think, was one of the first people who signed like in two days. I think he didn't oh. even read the contract. I guess. He thought maybe it's the same as before. I mean, <laughs> I, I would imagine he, but guys, of course you have to sign if you're Ding Li Ren, right? But how can you play an entire tour between one in the morning and five in the morning? Like, how is it possible? Like, I, I just, yeah, it's, no, ne- it's and it will never be in his favor. They will never do it in his favor because he's the only person playing out of Asia, basically. Some people in Russia mm-hmm. are a few hours closer, but mm-hmm. is he just doing it? Because it's guaranteed money. I mean, there's no way, right? They must be taken care of. Like, I, I don't. No, no. But I mean, I think I think the reasoning is because again, people who are playing in the uh, playing the Kansas tournament, you need to you need to play play something. Like, even if it's online, yeah. you need to play something to stay sharp. You you just can't literally like mm. not play for months on end. Um. So I think that's more than anything why he played. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, I know for myself, like when I had to play at like six in the morning, uh, I think it was six or five in the morning, the last event, it was very difficult. So I can only imagine having to play at like one in the morning. It's got to be really, really difficult because be- yeah. staying competitive, I mean, it's, it's staying sharp and competitive. It's very, very difficult. So next game should be starting probably pretty soon, I think, probably in the next like five minutes or so. Predictions? E4, D4, C4. What do you play if you have to win nowadays? Go ahead, Ali Reza. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think he goes D4 and plays some, I don't know, some Nimzo maybe. I, maybe some. Does Magnus play the Catalan? It, he doesn't, right? Not like... really. Not not anymore. He's played it a little bit, but but not not frequently, no. So you think D4, interesting. And Wesley will play Knight F6, E6, of course. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the thing is, the problem with the Nimzo is that it's one of those openings where if it works out and your opponent makes a slight mistake, you will end up much better. But if they don't, it's there aren't any yeah. major imbalances. Like, you, you want something where there, there are imbalances, whether it's like bit, two bishops against, against a bishop and knight, a, a, a different pawn structure, something like that. So from that alone, I don't think he'll play c4 because Wesley very frequently will play the symmetrical, so c4, c5. Um, so I would expect... I don't really see e4 somehow. I, I think he's going to play d4, and yeah. he's going to play. Uh, he's probably going to play something in the Ragozin. One of these, like, uh, like probably like d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5, something like knight c3, bishop b4, some, yeah. some bishop g5 with like queen a4, or some something where he can get an early g4, or h4 is my guess. Something along those lines. And, yeah, Wesley doesn't play the main, the main thing, right? With bishop e7. You uh, you mean uh, what the queen's game declined or what? Yeah, yeah, Queen is going to be. Uh, he he used to play it a lot. I actually, I kind of wonder if he won't play it against Magnus here. Um, but but yeah, normally yeah. he plays the Rogos, and he he Doesn't played the Queen's Gambit maybe like six seven years ago. He but what he also plays like this the C five line right? So I don't know if that's Tarash or semi Tarash, but he plays. Oh, I forgot. Oh, oh yeah, yes, I forgot about that stupid thing. Yeah, and he actually played that the last time they played in a final. Oh, yeah. so that that actually based on that. I that actually makes it a lot less likely that Magnus will play knight f3 if he's gonna play d4 c4. Yeah, yeah. I think he has to play knight c3 move three. But after bishop b4, I don't know. Yeah, maybe he'll play some some e3 knight e2 or e3 bishop yeah. d3 something slow possibly. I, I that's that's uh, that's my guess too. I think e4 is. There are too many systems, I think, that, that Wesley knows in, in the Spanish. And yeah. I don't think Magnus wants to play the Italian. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that's that's about the extent. Because Magnus has played the Scotch, but I don't really see it happening much. I mean, or Magnus will try to play something like a London. I could see that. Yeah. Well, there's there has been an infusion of Londons. Mm-hmm. I, I, I expect D4, though. I expect D4 on move one. I think, I think D4 is a pretty safe bet. Yeah, yeah. 
Wow, so must win. It depends your opponent, yeah? I guess in this case, you have to go D4. If you're playing MVL and you have to win... I mean, I... Gonna... I, I... I, I guess what I would say is, yeah, the play, it, it varies on the style. And, like, so I'm trying to think back now. I, I had a match against Wesley in one of these St. Louis events. I think it was June of last year. And I was in the same situation, a must win in the last game with White. The game, the game was a draw. Um, but I think in that, in, that, in that game, I sort of rationalized it where, like, E4, there were too many E5 systems. And with D4, you can do something a little bit unusual, and it's still all the pieces are on the board. So that's kind of how yeah. I, I played D4. Maybe he might play C4 also. But then what's his response to C5? Because Wesley does play the symmetrical. Oh, uh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, so that is a bit boring. Yeah, yeah I D4. I... D4 is a pretty good choice, yeah. Yeah, because the problem is C4, C5, I mean, it's just it's symmetrical. And you can play Knight F3, yeah. D4, obviously, but it's I, I think Wesley will go C5, and he's played mm -hmm. it a lot. So, yeah. I, yeah, I don't see C4. I, I think he'll play D4. That's my guess. Yeah. But they should be. Well, knight, well, knight f3 doesn't really do anything because just knight f6, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Ah, oh, man. Well, we're going to. The suspense will soon disappear. Yeah. Let's play King's Gambit. e4, e5, f4. Easy. Even that after d5, it would be boring again. <laughs> Oh man, B three, no. <laughs> yeah, prob. I I yeah. I, I, D four seems. Yeah, yeah. Reasonable. Let's see. Ali Reza, have you been looking at the Pod Champs participants? Who are? Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yes. Are you rooting for the for the for the Frenchman? Yeah. For sure, he's he's. I sleep and I wake up. He's still there and playing. I don't know how they do it. But... Oh, sardoshi has been playing like a lot. Yeah, twenty hours a day. I saw one day he was playing for twenty hours. I've I've never played chess for twenty. Yeah. I I think Hikaru, you probably have right for twenty hours. Well, you mean streaming or like in the old days? In the old days. Yeah. So I think, um, no, I've never played for 20 hours straight. I think the longest I played was I played for maybe like, I think 11 hours in a row. I played a, a long yeah. match back on ICC with God Kamsky, And I think, uh, was it Grishchuk or, or Rustamov or one of the, one of these other Russian players. So I think I played about 11 to 12 hours. That's about, that's about my upper limit. That's insane. Wow. People are saying he's 1400 and he's been playing chess for 12 hours a day. Yeah. That's wild. Wow. Oh man. Well, we might have a uh we might have a very early favorite. Having said that, you know, at his level, prep is a real thing. You know, you read a guy's openings and then you try to prepare people depending on their level. Mm -hmm. And yeah, maybe that's gonna happen. Yeah, so okay. Um I, 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 so, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> that, was, that was a very powerful intro. I, you were like, all right. Yeah. And then it, it, it slowed down. I just want chess, man. I just want, I just want some chess. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. This is the last game. Like, Magnus doesn't win this game. It's over. Wesley beats him for a second time. And that's shocking and the streak continues magnus has not won a tournament since he turned 30 years old so yeah that, once that... you once you become 30 it's uh or once i start my i did something one second i just went to my alerts it's it's all downhill well we have uh we have the three of us are separated by gaps of seven to eight years right so i think i'm seven to eight years older than ali reza hikaru's got says so that that's a uh, uh, oh, by the way, Magnus went e4. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so, so we're, we're going to get e5 100%. No, no doubt about that. Okay. Italian. Okay, everything yeah. is surprising thus far. 
D3. Yeah, so I'm... so Magnus wants D5. I think Wesley's not going to play. He, I think Wesley's going to play D6 this game. I don't think he's going to play yeah, D5. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, D6. Yep. This is going to be a long game, yeah? Yeah. A5. Mm hmm Knight D2. Oh, there are many. Okay, so so now again, you know, fun fact. The reason that I've that I've played this setup, by the way, uh, is you'll notice in a lot of my games I played h6 plus a5 instead of a5 right away, and that's because of this bishop g5 line, which is okay for black, um, but it, it it can be very double edged. Yeah. G5. Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah, of course. G5, bishop g3, and then um, and then the thing is not to go g4 because bishop h4 is winning for white, I believe. Although wait, this is rookie one, not knight d2. I think I think G four is a blunder after Bishop after Bishop G three because of Bishop H four. Yeah. Yeah. Bishop B six. They go on King G seven. Rook H eight or Knight H seven sometimes. Yeah. So H5. okay, Bishop B six though is not the move that I've looked at. Yeah. So the line that I normally was playing was King G seven, and then like Knight H seven and H five or Knight H seven with F five uh, once the pin's broken. Uh huh. Because King G seven D four doesn't work here, right? Uh, D four. I believe you take, and is it bishop b4? Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me rotate the board for some reason. I since I don't yeah. play this with white. Yeah. Actually, no. You know what it is? Normally, I put the bishop on a7, not b6. Yeah, yeah. Bishop on a7. Yes. Bishop on b6 is eight. So, Magnus is baiting this setup because it creates imbalance. He's down two one. Mm -hmm. He has to win. There is. This is it. He doesn't win this game. Wesley's the champ. If he right. wins, we go to blitz. Correct. Right. So it's tense. Knight a three. So yeah, you guys were saying is very logical, of course. King g seven. Is the knight going to c two or bishop b five c four? No, knight it's going to c two and e three. Basically, because the point is, Black's going to go king g seven. With the idea of knight h7 or g4. Although, actually, already after knight a3, I think black can maybe go g4 immediately here. Uh, bishop h4. I don't know how this line goes with gf3 and king g7. I'm not sure of this, but I feel like with the knight on a3 and not d2, the the, the gambit's probably not good for white. Yeah. So you probably can play g4. Okay, he plays knight h7. Basically yeah, trying to play in my style. Mm -hmm. I think he wants h5. This is kind of sorry, right? Knight c2, h5, h4, bishop g4. Yeah, I mean, basically this is something, uh, it's, it's funny because I think I looked at this uh, in advance of my candidates tournament in 2016 with Black, this whole like King G7, Knight H7, H5, and then yeah. it, then I think it wasn't really seen until there was this game between Leko and um, Van Forest, Jordan Van Forest, I think in Isle mm -hmm. of Man, like 2017 or 18, and Leko basically played something right along these lines, maybe it wasn't Knight A3, but it was the whole idea, and he lost with Black, even though we had, we had studied this yeah. and reviewed it, and then he played it in a game and he just, he went and yeah. lost the game, which was which was pretty funny. Um. Yeah. So the idea is to play h5 because now the pawn is support on g5 and then h4 and g4 and just attack and your bishop is really good on b6 too. Yeah. So what is the move here for white? They they sacrifice sometimes this d4. I think d4 for instance. Ah, uh, yeah. Like... D4, d4, g4, and then yeah, g4, knight, knight h4. d4. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. This one. Yes. But I think the idea for black is d4, just h5. Doesn't care about center. Yeah, d4. so I mean, I think you have to play d4 here. Is, 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 I think you have to. d4, you said h5, and then white will play h4? Yeah, h4, but then bishop g4. I don't think d4 is correct, actually. Hmm. And and something like h3, g4 anyway, right? And then... I mean, I think h3 is a move that the computer likes, but I don't think it's... it's. I mean, no human is going to play it. Yeah. Wow. But it's interesting. Magnus found a way so that black actually is the one that's potentially overextending. Mm -hmm. And with, with the pawns in front of the king. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because he's not the one playing kind of super aggressively. and Right. So, 
Yeah, tough position for Magnus. He 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 actually traditionally he likes these uh, bishop g5 bishop or bishop g5 h4 g3 ideas. I, I vaguely recall some game. I think it was against Shirov and Vikonze maybe like five or six years ago, and it was out of the Spanish, not not the Italian. But it was uh, it was in the Archangel. This whole like bishop c5 line with a6 b5. It, it was against Karyakin, no, in 2018 or 17. There's probably that game too. I'm thinking of a really old game, actually. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. There was there was some game where he did the same kind of thing where he put a bishop on g3. I, I mean, I think I, yeah, I, yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm sure there are many examples actually. Mm -hmm. um, but he likes this bishop g3 idea, um, even though like long term there could be big issues with the bishop on g3. Yeah. But um, but it, but he 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 likes it where you know there's a lot lot of play. I think he had a game against Sokolov also, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Yeah. Um, you mean, if I don't kill myself tonight, I'm gonna live thousand years, Sokolov? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, what is Magnus thinking about here? I'm wondering. Like, what are the moves that make sense? H5, H4 is a threat. I mean, H3 looks ridiculous to me, just because of G4, you give Black everything he wants. Yeah. So, if I'm discounting H3, then I see D4, and what else is there? Because H5 is a huge threat. H4 looks ridiculous because of Bishop G4. Well, guys, you only have one way to stop H5, right? And that's to play knight d2. Or knight... Uh, knight... No, I was going to say knight d2 is a, is, is a move as well. But, I mean, it feels yeah. weird because you take yeah. away from the center. You don't get to push d4 anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, in black was king g7 and f5, and, I mean, it looks yeah. really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, king g7, f5 looks terrible. Yeah. It was knight c2. Wow. Apparently, h5 is... It's coming. Now we have so you have to play h4 if h5 right or do you play h3? I think you have to go h3. I mean h4 bishop g4 looks insane, doesn't it? Or not? Yeah, knight e3 takes takes gh bishop h4. But then is it just bishop f3? Is maybe yeah, just bishop f3 and you 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 lose. No, but this is very strange by Magnus. Like I, I don't understand. I mean, okay, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna go h5 h3 h4 bishop h2 g4 takes takes and d4 followed by knight e3. This no. has to be his idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. D4 and bishop e2, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the, so knight g5, bishop e2, exactly. Yeah. This has to be the idea. Otherwise, it makes no... Other, otherwise, I mean, it makes no sense at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's kind of funny because if black doesn't play, like, fast, then black will is just positionally in a terrible situation, right? Knight e3 is coming. F5 will be stopped. So, uh, Wesley has to play... But it's interesting because Wesley's best moves make the position extremely complicated. So, yeah, h4. Now, now you probably g4 is the best move, right? So, it might be some theory here, actually. Yeah, because Wesley's 93? playing very quickly. No, you go d4 here. I think 93 allows some some uh, knight g5 yeah. stuff. No, you know what's funny is I think I've seen this position, but with the bishop on a7, not b6. I think I've actually looked yeah. at this with the bishop on a7 instead of b6 here. Guys, how is Magnus going to win this? Like, I just, I, what, ed4, well, knight g5? The, the, the king side, the king side, if the king yeah. side becomes open, your king is going to be, your king will be under attack very quickly. No, I actually, so I, I really think... like what he's done. I, I like, I like the, uh, the concept at least. Yeah, yeah. I guess knight g5, bishop b2, bishop f3, bishop f3, queen f6 is the way. Mm -hmm. And then knight e3 and knight e5 or knight f5. Yeah. Knight e3, knight f3, g takes. Bd4, knight e5. Yeah. No, I, I love what Magnus has done here. Because if black doesn't get the attack, it's going to fall apart. If you get knight e3, knight f5, or knight e5... And in long term, this bishop is going to open up on the h2 h2 b8 diagonal. Then um, it's going to be really bad. Yeah. So candidate moves pawn takes pawn. Yeah, pawn takes pawn knight g5 queen f6 maybe h no h3 knight e3. Eh. Yeah, I don't think h3 is a good move. So probably knight g5 ed4 or queen f6. Those are the three moves that I see here. I was uh, I was gonna go scan if this mm -hmm. has been seen before in some sort of live action game, uh, but 
Yeah. Maybe not. Right. I mean, like Muscles. I said, this position, I've ha I'm have i almost certain I've had this exact position on move 10 with bishop a7 instead of bishop b6. And I'm pretty sure, in fact, I've looked at this exact line potentially, um, but just with the bishop on a7. And I feel like there's some there's some queen f6. I don't know where, but there's some queen f6. Well, ding I see a lot of... Uh... So obviously I'm using mega base I'm, or, mm -hmm. you know, the, you should, you should probably see a lot of ding ding or myself are probably two players. Yeah. I <laughs> see a lot of ding. We run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see a lot of ding. We run. Um, so you guys, you guys just like have those mental notes about these players, right? Like, okay, this guy likes this wrinkle, this system. If I play, that's usually how, how it goes. There's two games, MVL dingly red mm -hmm. in the past few years repeated yeah. the same system so and um no actually what i was gonna say levy is that um i mean for me probably it's a little bit different than ali reza because i i don't think i mean ali reza you, you haven't played in that many of these elite elite tournaments have you no of course no no i, I just played three tournaments very top so mm -hmm. so yeah. i i think like what, what i would say is like for for me for example um when when with these players i do have a very good feel for what they like um in terms of their, in terms of stylistically like you know for example in that last game uh for wesley you saw that his reactions were not great now magnus missed yeah. knight g2 uh, bishop h3 he missed several several really good ideas but like you sort of get a feel for the way that the players play and i think like for ali reza the more that the more that he plays against these top players that will he'll certainly develop that as well yeah okay so we do get ed4 what is the thought process here cd4 or knight cd4 Right, so, right. I'm assuming he's trying. He's calculating what to take with. There's nothing else. I mean, yeah, CD4 looks pretty logical. Yeah, from a human standpoint, CD4 seems correct because after knight d4, knight takes pawn takes the bishop on b6. It just it, you know, there's nothing that can impede this diagonal. The bishop on yeah. diagonal eventually it's going to have a lot of threats. So from a from a very my first instinct is that you probably take with the pawn. Um, that being said, <laughs> Magnus does take with the knight. <laughs> I was gonna say there's yeah. maybe some push with e5 in, in, at some point to uh, to sort of bring the bishop to the center and and attack everything. Yeah, he plays knight cd4. So every move, black has multiple choices. For example, knight takes knight right now, mm -hmm. right? Knight g5. Mm -hmm. Bishop takes also. Bishop takes knight on d4. I mean, yep. Uh, bishop takes f3. Probably not because just knight takes and. There, I mean, there's also queen f6. There, there are a lot of options yeah, queen for black. F6. Yeah, so so many options, which which is good because it means that that Wesley has to use time. It's not where he has like one or two moves and he can sort of just use his time and figure it out very easily. The more options yeah. and more decisions, the better off you are in a game that you that you need to win. Yeah. So I guess yeah, we'll we'll see. I mean, I think Wesley's going to use quite a bit of time here. I I don't think he should make any moves quickly. To me, I feel like knight d4, I don't know, somehow knight d4 just looks right to me just because you have the bishop on the diagonal um, on b6 to, to g1. So it seems right at the same time. I, I don't I don't know if you really want to help white get the center. Because either the center is very strong or it's very weak. This pawn, on, like pawns on d4, e4 are very strong or they're very weak and, and targets. And I don't know which one they are. Yeah. Apparently, knight g5 is a very bad move now. So someone writing that mm -hmm. Sassy saying knight g5 is terrible. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know why, but I listen to my computer overlord. I mean, is it because you could just move your... You always have bishop e2, right? You can yeah, but knight g5, I think yeah. you just go queen d2. You, you don't even really care because you, your king is, is actually very safe here after knight f3, uh, mm. gf3. Because you'll just go king, king h1, rook g1, and black's king is actually very open here. There's There are no pawns in front of the king. Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> All right, that's what we'll get if knight g5. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, queen f6 looks very good, though. Like, as when you suggested, I'm like, oh, yeah, queen f6 is very... It just seems very logical, more than anything. It just makes makes a lot of sense. I mean, maybe yeah. it's not great for some reason, but to me, it looks very, very logical. Yeah, it's a tough position, of course. Is there is there ever time for Black to play a4 rook a5 rook slides over to the king side? Probably not because if I if I get one move like if it's White's move here like after a4 I just go queen d2 and White's much better here. 
Ah, uh, you go, you get to go to h6. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he takes on d4. Yeah. So he does what I thought he would do, yeah. He goes knight g5. Okay. Yeah, what's this playing concretely? But so yeah, now what I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared though. What what do you do after queen d3? I'm getting a little bit scared here. After oh, queen yeah. d3 or queen b3? No, d3, d3. Because if you take, I'm going to just go take with a pawn, go f4, and your king is just going to be completely open. Hmm. This actually looks kind of scary. Yeah, the king and the, is so open. Yeah. The actual threat of queen d and, and he, he plays, plays it. it yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is starting to look very scary for black. And this uh, again, this is something else that I'm sure that Ali Rez will pick up on as he plays against Magnus more. But one thing that Magnus really also likes to do is he likes to not push his pawns and create weaknesses. He, he very much likes yeah. his his opponent to sort of push everything forward, and then, then as long as as long as the position is fundamentally sound, slowly but surely he takes advantage of these weaknesses because the opponent has pushed their pushed their pawns yeah. too far up the board. So this is uh yeah this is very um. I don't know. This yeah, looks terrible like... to me. Can he just can he can basically take on f three this bishop and go d five? Uh bishop f three and go d five. Uh huh. But that's maybe. And if I take with the pawn. Yeah, and then queen f six. Just f four. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the problem is f4 in all these lines. If I ever, if I could go f4, yeah. it's just you, you resign almost. Okay, he, he wants to put the bishop on g6, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He takes bishop h5. So if king h1, he goes queen f6, and then you hit both yeah. pawns. Yeah. e5? Yeah, he goes d5, I think. e5, then... yeah, d5. Bishop b3, bishop g6. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. D d5, bishop g6, yeah, the combination of those two. two. I mean, I'm still yeah, not so uh, sure because your yeah, king yeah. is still open on g8. King h1 and rook yeah. g1. It's a strange position. So what are the moves for yeah. white here? King h1? Ah, oh, but queen f6, queen f6. Queen I mean, f6. I think king h1, queen f6, and you just see right away that you're bad, probably, because you lose a pawn. Yeah. So if you decide king h1's not good, well, so you have e5 and any other moves. f4, no, f4 looks weird but maybe it's playable i don't know the only moves that make sense to me here are like e5 f4 um well, f4 is so nice. queen e3 maybe also queen e3 queen f6 e5 and then queen g5 queen e3 Ooh. queen f6 e5 queen Queen f3, it doesn't work queen, queen g5, g5, g5 because queen g6 at the end king right? h7 yeah and then Rookie, ah oh no, rookie three, rook g eight. Bishop d, ah uh, bishop d three. Yeah. After rookie three, rook g eight. No, no, I mean oh, I check oh, okay. king h seven and go bishop d three, and then take. Oh yeah, yeah. I take king g seven, then I go king h one and rook g one. Yeah, yeah. It, should be, it mm -hmm. must be winning somehow. Yeah. Oh, actually, there's also king g two apparently. Oh, that's that's also a very obvious move mm -hmm. that I didn't think about. Although that that seems weird. Now. Oh, and rook g1. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what the yeah. best move I I don't know. I feel like oh, somehow yeah. I don't know what the move is. I think f4 is very interesting because sometimes when queen h3 or Mhm. Mm yeah, so f4 Should king h8. Yeah, king h8. Yeah, I have to go king h1 or Yeah, just king h1 rook g1. Goes e5. He does play e5. Yeah, actually, I, I kind of like e5. I think because it, it, yeah. it really simplifies the situation. And now Magnus has a very obvious idea. After d5, bishop b3, it's like you're playing for bishop c2, or you're going to go king h1, rook g1, and f4, f5. Like there yeah, isn't yeah. really much that you have to think about. And now Wesley's going to have to use a lot of time to defend against an attack. Yeah. So bishop b3, of course. And bishop d4. Queen D ah uh, Queen G five King F one Bishop F three. It's funny. I stopped my calculation after Bishop G six, but I guess the position's actually pretty nice for White. Yeah, yeah. Bishop D four. I mean, even King H. I don't know. Yeah, it feels dangerous, but maybe you can get away with it. Yeah. 
But I mean, I think already, though, this is all that Magnus can ask for in a must-win game because Wesley has to find... He has to find he has to find defending moves. There's a big there's yeah, a big attack sure. coming towards his king here. Yeah, this is I don't know. To me this feels very scary. I, I would not want this position with black. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what to I mean, does bishop d4 because bishop d4 either it works or it doesn't work, right? Yeah. So I take queen g5. King h1 is no good. Bishop g3 is no good. So king f1, bishop f3. Rook e3, maybe? Queen g2, king e1. It's probably just winning because I have queen h4 yeah. also. Hmm. Okay, goes a4. Okay, well, we know we're going to get bishop c2, bishop g6. So the next two, unless see, there's no way he plays bishop d1. Yeah, yeah, bishop c2 is pretty good, I think. Is there bishop, king h1 oh, but here? Then... King h1, king h8, queen e3? No, no, Oh my god, there's no. king h1. But what's the, wait, but then what's the move after takes rook g1, king h8? Didn't you just say queen e3? No, but queen e3, I just go king h7. Well, at that point, we can go rook g5, maybe. Double okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on turn on the lines. Give me one second. Let me just see. Because apparently this is losing, right? Yeah. Why is it losing? Ah, you have e6 after king h8. Uh-huh, oh, okay. uh-huh. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's too much. Ah, so. because if rook g5, you can... um. Oh, my God. If, if yeah, rook yeah. g5, you just sack the queen. Yeah. Yeah, then they're going to three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, queen g5, Jesus. No, king h1 is some what savage shit, bishop c2, man. bishop g6, queen e2 even. That's crazy. So, I mean... When, if you're Wesley, you play a4, and you're just like, he's gonna go bishop c2, right? You don't yeah, even yeah. think for... And all of a sudden, Magnus goes, do I have to move my bishop? And yeah. then... Is it just over? King h1, rook g1? I mean, well, king h1, bishop g6. Right? Yeah, king rook h1, g1. bishop g6, rook g1 is just winning. King h7? King h7. You sack on g6? Yeah, surely you just sack and go rook g1 and bishop c2. I mean, it's just way too much firepower on the light. light yeah, light and f4, f5. Even. King h1 is a, and that's an insane move. Wow. No, I mean, but you have to see e6, which I don't think it. In, in, yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Bishop wow. D one. Wow. I mean, if I mean Bishop C two is more logical, no? Bishop G six, Queen E two, and then. Yeah, I mean, I guess Magnus just he didn't he didn't see the. Uh... No, actually, no. You're right. Bishop C two is much more logical, because even if you're yeah. down a pawn, I mean, you have a huge attack. There, there's nothing yeah, defending yeah. the king. Yeah, Bishop D one is a very strange move. Just want to congratulate you, Hikaru. Uh, the mm -hmm. GM Hikaru channel is the number one English speaking channel on all of Twitch right now. Oh wow, that's incredible! Wow, that's insane. Hi guys, welcome yeah. to chess. Yeah, welcome to chess. We are we are uh, we're covering this uh, chess champions tour event, and as you guys see, chess is now bigger than League of Legends, as it should be. Yes, we're all three very strong players, all around equal strength, <laughs> uh, covering the same tournament of players all around equal strength. Um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> please don't do any more further research into that subject. Uh, yeah, welcome to chess. Oh, you just also broke your viewership record. Oh, what was it? Like 70 or something? I saw people saying 70k or something, but anyway. Um... Your record's got to be 69k. Don't, 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 don't bring it up to 70. Come on. <laughs> Why 70? Yeah. This is so much more. Yeah. Right, so... yeah. Guys, God is nice. Is it, are we surprised he, so if Magnus played Bishop D1, do you think he saw King H1 but missed E6? Is that it? I mean, in a slow game, Magnus would see it. But yeah, expecting expect, expecting someone to see King H1 with Rook G1 and E6, I mean, it's real. Because also, yeah. even even there, like, even after E6, F6, I mean, to me, it doesn't seem obvious why it's winning. I mean, I guess it is because of Queen F5. But, I mean, you don't see a clear win. So in, in a Blitz game or a Rapid game even, it's very hard to spend five minutes calculating something like that. But then yeah. why not just go Bishop C6? 
uh, bishop c2, bishop g6, and... Uh... Yeah, this I don't know. This, again, though, Magnus has made a lot of decisions that I don't really understand. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because bishop c2 seems very obvious, because even if you gambit a pawn, I mean, there's there's just nothing protecting the king. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's just... The king's completely open here. Well, let's put it this way. He doesn't want to trade bishops, I guess, right? That just but seems the, the But the bishop is a really good piece on g6, because it sort of... It, it shields the black king. Hey, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't think that. Mm -hmm. Maybe he wants that four f five, and he's you know. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't like queen g five though. Because so now king is yeah, but queen e two, queen e two, and like bishop c two. I don't. I don't. I don't like this at all. Actually, queen e two is the pawn. You're just gambit. You're giving d four and rook g one. Right, but yeah? you get you just get rook g one with tempo. I mean, this this looks like a horrible decision. He wants put maybe he wants to put the queen on h five. Yeah, rook g one, queen queen h five. What like rook g four, c five, bishop c two. I mean, yeah. Maybe it's okay for black, but I don't know. To me, it feels very scary. Yeah. It just it feels it feels really really scary here. Well, queen e two is the best move because queen e three is the alternative, but that takes it to an end game. Right. Exactly. And queen c3 is just stupid. <laughs> just wrong. Yeah. You're going the wrong direction. Also, bishop a5. <laughs> so, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, because the thing also, it's, it's must win, wow. which helps. Because, you know, if this wasn't a must win game, I could see queen e3 playing for an end game with maybe some kind of play. But in a must win game, I mean, you have to go queen e2 and just trust that this is good. All right, here we go. Yeah, Buckle so, up. So queen h5 will be played. Mm-hmm. Rook g4 probably will be... I mean, queen h5 is the only move, because queen e7, bishop c2 looks like suicide. However, I realize black can maybe go rook a6 and bring the rook in now. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow. I mean, so rook, rook g4... Yeah, rook c5. g4, c5. Yeah, get your wooden shield. Bishop c2, rook a6 maybe. Yeah, and then f4. Aha, aha, aha. King H8, and then F5, and I resign. Yeah, F5, yeah. Aha, yeah. uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, this is... Wait, this is... Actually, then, yeah, this is very... Oh, and then, well, Bishop F5, Bishop F5, Rook G8, right? That's the point, and then... But exactly. Lost. Yeah, 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 King G8, Queen H5, but that has to be winning, right? So, at yeah. the end of this, there's a... There's going to be a little... Okay, so, so what, what about a Rook G4, C5, Bishop C2, A3? Is this too much? Oh, because yeah. actually, it's it, the, the pawn's not going to queen on b2, so you can just go rook g1. <laughs> My pawn's not queening because yeah. it's blockaded. So no, that actually doesn't work either. Yeah, rook g4 looks very strong here. I'm surprised he hasn't played it, because it seems like a very natural move to play. Yeah. Seems very, very natural. I, I, don't, I don't know why he hasn't done it yet. But this is the thing Magnus has been doing throughout this tournament, is it feels like he's lost his confidence. He's not making the moves as quickly anymore. It feels yeah. like he just he always he's using too much time to make the obvious obvious decisions. Yeah. Yeah, rook g4 is the only winning move. Block the diagonal, prepare f4 so there's no queen trade, and hit the bishop. And uh... Why is rook g4 the only winning move? What's wrong with bishop c2? Right away? Yeah. But then maybe rook e8, right? And then... Uh, then your idea of a3 apparently, or oh, king h8 is being shown. King h8, apparently. But you know, computer before it gets to a high enough depth is just mm -hmm. going crazy. So yeah, rook, you guys are right. Rook g4 is the only. Yeah, rook g4 is very logical. Yeah, I, I think it's like see, yeah. mm -hmm. if you already see rook g4, like why not? I mean, why not? Oh my god, he uh, played queen d2. Ah, he mm -hmm. wants f4, or f5. Okay. And rook g5. Okay. I mean, I still think it's very hard to play for black. In all fairness, I think it's, I mean, it's very dangerous. And I don't, I don't it, feel good about Wesley's position, even, even so. It, it always cracks me up that sometimes we're doing this commentary and like your first instinct, both of you, is a move. Yeah. And it's the best move, like in two seconds. But then the more you think, do you like cause doubt in your own mind? And then you end up not playing it? Is that what happens? I but mean, like, I, I think I would say for myself, in, in classical chess, certainly this is true because you have yeah. a lot of time to think. Um, but that's why, also to me, it's very weird that this is happening to Maddox. In Rapid and Blitz, you should actually do this a lot less. Like, it's not, it's not kind of, you, you kind of have to trust your intuition in a way that you, like, you can't do pure calculation to the same degree. 
So I, it's yeah. actually very strange to me that um, that that Magnus is doing this. That's why it makes no sense. Could be now yeah, Queen Six. Wow, this is wild. Yeah. Okay, so now what? Now you can't play F5. <laughs> rook G5? <laughs> the same idea? F5? Yeah, yeah, Rook G5, I think. Really? Great. Yeah, yeah, Rook G5. But then maybe A3 works, right? But then Bishop C2 again. Well, this is no, so I think crazy. I think Rook G5 has to be played, though. I mean, it's the only move that makes sense here. I mean, Rook G5, he should play Rook G5 here. Yeah, I mean, Rook G5 should be, should be very, very good here. Wow. Very strange. Very strange by Magnus. By the way, chat, has anyone spoken to MVL about the decision to trade the Rooks in the endgame? I'm just... Otherwise, you know what we're talking about, right? We're, we're, we're talking about when... Uh, yeah. So... I don't know if they actually spoke to him, but... That was so strange. Yeah. There's an interview. Okay. Uh, Rook G5. Wow. So A3. I mean, A3 is a very logical move, but. Yeah, but A3, Bishop C2, and I feel like it's. I mean, I don't know. A, B2, Rook G1. Did we calculate A3, F5? Or A3, Bishop C2? By the way, is there F6 here? Takes and Rook F6 or something? I guess you have Bishop C2 and then King H8. Bishop F6. Yeah, oh my he god, plays he plays it, F6. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, oh. F6, F6 looks very good. Oh. No, I think uh -oh. Magnus, is, Magnus is in real trouble now. Yeah, I, I think Magnus is going to lose. I, I think this is it. Yeah, bishop f6. Okay, also good. Yeah, no, I think this is this is terrible for white. Because I just go king h8, and my king is actually very safe. Like, rook g1, king h8, bishop c2, I can just trade. And with, with, with uh, the dark square bishops, white's bishop is, is garbage on h2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, this is, this, is, this is all gone for Magnus. Wow. Queen d5, king h7, right? Or h... I assume h8, h8. h7. Yeah. I don't know. Somehow h7 worries me because of the, the the light squares. This is yeah. crazy. Is the is this surprising or or not? Given the course of the tournament, the finals, the playoffs. I mean, guys, Magnus went to the Armageddon in both matchups, quarterfinal and semifinal. So he's been on that edge throughout. I yeah, I think queen d5, king h8, bishop c2 is there, but. Yeah, yeah, actually, I was just thinking about that too. Yeah. But... No, no, I just take and go bishop e4. Oh, okay, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, bishop c2, bishop e4. Yeah, and Magnus has no time either. I mean, this is he's gonna he's gonna lose. So yeah, Levy, you were saying he's been on the edge. I mean, I just think I think Magnus isn't trusting himself. I feel like a lot of the decisions he makes, he just he just he's not trusting himself. Because uh, I feel like Rook G four was just such an obvious move to go Bishop C two yeah. and Rook G one. I mean, I feel like most of the time he should play that move in like two seconds. Right. Okay, he takes so King King H eight, I guess. Yeah. I mean, even king h7 probably is fine. But, I mean, either way, I mean, just if you look at the pieces, white has two pieces that are active, so white can't be in the game here. I mean, you have the queen and the rook. Everything else is, like, yep. terribly placed. Look at the bishop on d1. I know. Wasn't that yeah. the move? Yeah. I mean, bishop that, that was... d1 was such a strange move. Yeah. Okay, ah, so... so he's going to gambit. With F2 can you take the e5. rook here? Is this... No, because pawn takes, and then there's oh, bishop yeah. e5. Okay. But, okay, now a3? Yeah, a3, yeah, rook g1, looks... maybe? Man, that looks terrible. A3, rook g1, even bishop... Oh, F7. But yeah, but bishop yeah, f7. Yeah. Bishop f7 takes an ab2. I mean, this pawn on b2 Wait. is one square. Why can't you play... Uh, You said a3, rook, rook g1, just ab2, rook g6. Isn't there queen g6? Yeah, I take and go back, bishop e4. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you yeah. just take it, and then you have you have the yeah. attack on the king. I mean, it's okay. still maybe still good for black, but it, get, it gets very scary. I, I don't know. Yes, no need. But guys, Wesley's been up like two to three minutes consistently. Like anytime yeah. he's up, he doesn't go below on the clock. 
Well, that's I mean, but, but, but this is kind of the point is that Magnus isn't trusting himself. So Magnus is overthinking every decision is what it feels like. I mean, he yeah. wasted, like, Bishop D1 was probably not, not right for starters. But, like, the whole decision to spend all this time to not go, go Rook G4 was very strange. Like, Magnus is just thinking too long at the critical moments. He's just, he's not, he's not trusting his intuition. Um, and so it's very, very, I mean, it's, it's, it's surprising. But, I mean, Wesley has been finding a lot of great moves. Yeah. Although, you know, it's kind of funny thinking about this match because, like, this game that Wesley won, like, every other game has been really great, really great, really exciting. And the game that Wesley won was just like, okay, I'm just going to I'm just gonna throw away a bishop for nothing. It's, like, <laughs> very strange. I know. Yeah. It, I don't know. Like, how do you even analyze a game like that? It's just, he just took on H4. Like, he, <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very weird. Very, very weird. Because these other three games have been incredible. They've been really, 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 uh, really dramatic games. So what's the move here for Black? I mean, a3 seems like the obvious move. Yeah, he plays I, I, yeah. a3. Mm -hmm. And now I think Bishop f7 is just a safe. Oh, he, he takes, goes for wow. this. He takes. Some rook d8 at some point, right? Queen block. Uh, for... But you also have queen f7. It? But yeah, probably. Actually, rook d8 maybe is good. Yeah, 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 rook d8, rook d8 just wins the game. Queen e6, rook e8, probably. No, no, yeah. no, I mean, no, 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 yeah, rook e8, rook d8, and then you have to trade, and I mean, white oh, yeah. never wins. White never yeah. wins the game, yeah. Okay, he goes at 5. So rook g8? Rook g8? Yeah, rook g8 looks very obvious uh... here. <laughs> yeah, rook g8. And then if you don't take, I have like queen g7 maybe, and then, or rook d8, the other rook. I mean, rook g8, rook e1, still it's... Yeah, there's still some play. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is, I mean, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, pro probably what I would say is I, I feel like, yeah, Magnus didn't trust himself. Like, all these moves seem very strange. Like, I think in a blitz game, he would have played bishop c2 immediately. Uh, yeah. it just a just a normal blitz game probably does that, but then also I mean rook g rook g four I think just normal blitz game you know if if he's just playing first game of some tournament he probably plays rook g four immediately too so it's 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 I think he just he needs a break is what I would say I think he needs some kind of break yeah rook g eight rook e one mm -hmm. just rook e eight yep exactly just yeah. trade it off you're never mating with the two bishops here that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is over, right? Hey, dude, does Magnus have a new uh, kryptonite? This is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is two times now in a row that he's lost in a final. Yeah, it's it's pretty in in amazing. What happened in their solo matchup in this tournament? I don't remember. Probably a draw, I would imagine, right? So, um, I think so. I don't I don't remember actually, but I yeah, think so. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, I mean the the whole thing is is yeah. It's, it's shocking. It's shocking because I mean like you 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 kind of expect Magnus to always find a way. I mean, I think for me more so than even Ali Reza, like much of my career it's like Magnus finds a way to pull things out. Like he just he just he just has this habit of finding a way to win um yeah. to 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 like win games or draw games at the critical moments. I mean, of course actually that happened with you in your your game against him. He he found some magic yeah. way, I mean, to yeah. to get to that that ending. Where I guess, I guess it was a draw, right at the end. I mean, I, yeah, I know yeah. I know you lost some time, but technically I think it was a draw there. But yeah, he yeah. found some magic way even yeah, even sure. there to get to that point. So it's okay now. Just rookie six. Oh, guys, they played in the first game of the whole event, and Ma and oh, Wesley Magnus won. won that, or oh, yeah. Wesley won. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wesley I remember won, that. Yeah. Yes, Wesley won. Yeah. Yes, yes. That first game, right? Do you do you think Wesley's going to say he got lucky and Magnus had a bad day in the interview? <laughs> that seems to be the. I I I, I, I don't think so. I, I feel like in the in the first the match that Wesley won before, um, I felt that like uh, that Magnus was the better player and he really he, he kind yeah. of he kind of you know lost the match because of his decisions. Whereas in this match, I feel like Wesley has kept even. And sure, you can say that Magnus should not have just blundered the way he did, um, where he blundered the uh, the bishop in the in the first game of the day. But again, overall, Wesley has been on par. I, I can't say that in this this match. Uh, that that Magnus has been better. Magnus was clearly better in that match, which he lost the first time. But this one, he has not been the better player. He has not yeah. been the better player. 
Yeah, now h3, queen g2, and it's just mm -hmm. finished. Well, I, h3, bishop g3. <laughs> oh, bishop g3. I, I, I try to get tricky here, yeah. Okay, yeah. but queen d2, and sooner or later, white has to trade. Yeah, Magnus will probably resign here, right? Because there's nothing yeah, to yes. do. Yeah, yeah, it's over. You can only trade the queens. Yeah, it's, it's just over. Amazing. Yeah. Bishop g4, uh, queen d4 is the last one I think you can try. Yeah, just bishop g4 and uh, queen d4. Queen d4. Yeah, queen force d4. Force the queens. Wow. Yeah, amazing. It was also such a great choice of opening by Magnus, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I mean I think for Magnus it's just in these middle games he's 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 yeah. like thinking too long and making the wrong decisions objectively. He doesn't play okay, Wesley plays queen g5, but obviously oh, yeah, it's yeah. still good. Repetition, I guess. <laughs> ah, well Magnus says no. Magnus would rather lose yeah. and that's I mean it makes sense. So. Well, I guess how do you Do win they there? do uh -huh. they speak to the loser of the final? They do, right? I yeah, yeah, I think they do. They okay. they they do, I believe, yeah. I I I don't know. Will Magnus be so frustrated? I'm not it's... sure Magnus will join after this one. I, I think there's a good chance Magnus won't join, yeah. actually. I, I highly doubt it. So what do you do? Queen c1 and then just check and queen, queen b2 and then king issue queen c1 for me, right? On f1? Something like this? Yeah. I mean, of course, everything wins here. I suppose. Also, h... No, h3, bishop g3, maybe. But, yeah, what Wesley will... Uh, Wesley will um win. Apparently Wesley's shaking his head, and that's probably just because he missed Queen D four. Yeah. But, I mean, it's okay. It's still completely winning. Um Yeah. Okay. Once again, you guys make sure to hit that follow button if you aren't following already. We're gonna be covering all these chess events, covering this, covering Pog Champs later. Big shout out to everybody who's watching. You're all very amazing. So make make sure to hit that follow button. All right, so what happened to h3 was played, right? So king h3, queen h6, queen d2, and it's a draw, right? Yeah, it's a draw. Queen d2 here. Yeah. Wesley's looking for the classy the classy finish. Mm -hmm. Ma Magnus is looking for, like, <laughs> you're going to have to kill me. You're going to have to kill me to put me away. Yeah, but rook d8 is, is game over. This is all. This is This is it. Yeah, very strange. Very strange. I mean, I think Mag yeah. again, Magnus is throughout this match. His problem was the, the lack of self confidence and the time usage, which I mean, they go hand in hand. But that was his problem. No confidence, so he used too much time, and he uh, he made a lot of mistakes when he in, in situations where I think normally he would not have done. Yeah. Crazy. Still on that. Mm -hmm. Verge of not being official, but I mean, you have no moves. I mean, it is. Oh man. Yeah, it's oh. just. I mean, what to say? I mean, uh, uh, do credit goes to Wesley. He played very, yeah. very good chess. I think in this match, he very much deserves to win. As I said in the first one that he won the previous event, I thought Magnus really hurt himself, but in this one, Wesley, I think you can safely say was the better player, and he deserves to win. Yeah, for sure. The best rapid player in the world right now. We ready to uh... at least online? I would say, yeah. I would say yeah. online right yeah, now. He's been. He's... What happened to him in the in the last one? There was the day he that he lost to. Uh, he lost to. Um, not Nepo. He lost to Maxime. Yes, he lost to Maxime. He didn't mate in two, right? Queen H four. He didn't do that. <laughs> Just <laughs> <his draw. laughs> Okay, now. Uh, he's oh going to go. Rook, there's just going to go rook d two, rook d one, rook d two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just rook d1, uh, rook d2. Yeah, it's finished. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's I don't know. Did... <laughs> Why not just mate the guy? You know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but Amazing. I mean, it's kind of if if there's nothing that really matters, like then it's it's more respectful as well. Yeah, I think. That that that's what I would say. But wow, no, it, wow, it, crazy. Yeah. That's insane. Cr Crazy. Also, you got you almost at eighty thousand viewers. We uh, well combined by far over, but uh... yeah. I mean, I, I think last night I was actually looking at chess on one of the one of the sites, and I saw it like twentieth highest ranked game on all of Twitch, and it's just it's been amazing. Yeah. It's great to see all the love and support for all the streamers. I mean, from from myself to Levy to Botez to Ali Reza to Danya to everybody. Really, it's it's been incredible. It's it's really 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 amazing. Anna, 
Oh, sorry, Didn't I forgot say... about it. Yeah, yeah, Anna too. I mean, there's there's so many people. I mean, there there's just so, so so many people who have contributed to making this what it is. Well, guys, uh, we're done. I think we are. Show's yeah. over. Yeah, yeah it's show's like over. Incredible, incredible stuff. Incredible, yeah. I know we're supposed to be jumping out of our out of our seats, but it's uh, <laughs> so it's, it's unbelievable stuff. Well, we will be. Uh, so I guess for now, uh, we will all kind of say good 